All right. Nice hit. Nice hit. Those first two are horrible. My peep sight is a little twisted. Hit my arm. Oh, I'm bruising that bad. Oh, every day I gotta come on here and do like 10 shots just to get that arm used to that. Now, most of your preppers sit behind a the desk. They don't walk with a pack. They don't exercise. Most of them smoke. Um, some are trying to play radio host. I mean, it's a, it's a facade. It's a facade to see how much money they can make off memberships and how much money people give them. It's a big joke. Bottom line is, when shit hits the fan, because these people don't believe it, they're going to be dead. And the majority of your preppers, I mean, what are they doing? Sitting behind a desk doing newscasts? Makes me sick. Um, the ones that have food put away, and let's say you got six months of food, you're thinking, okay, I'm good for six months, and you probably are. But what happens after the six months? Would it, do you have a year of food? I mean, meat doesn't stay that long in a freezer. You have to learn skills. You know, you have to learn how to trap, um, how to make snares, how to hunt. Every little thing that requires you to gathering food, learning about what you can eat in the wilderness and what will not kill you, and uh, getting out there and doing it. Now, this stuff is interesting, but sitting around doing nothing is foolish. Now, if you have a hard time um, walking around because you're disabled, right now, um, the shedding's going on, which means the deer are losing their antlers, and most people have dogs. You could be out going for a walk and looking for antlers, and when you find them, your dogs will love them. They're healthy for the dogs, too. And by doing that, you could also be scanning where the deer are. You'll probably spook some. Keep an idea. Mark that down on a map. Um, keeping an idea where things are. And uh, this is very important. And a lot of people don't do any of this. By getting yourself into, say, archery, you know, you're, um, you're getting exercise. You're getting out. Walking with your pack, you're getting out. Anything that gets your body moving, you're getting out. Now, make sure you don't overdo it. Now, I'd watched the video on Hoople's Cat where he went out with his snowshoes and he was walking in the snow. He was soaking wet. At his age, he's got to be very careful. When you start to get our age, 57, you know, your body ain't what it used to be. And when you push yourself like that and you're sweating that bad, you've got a heart attack. I mean, you got to do everything in moderation. And not where you're doing it like there's some 20-year-old in a complete workout. You're just going to kill yourself, Hooples. You need to start slowing down a little bit. And, uh, you know, do everything in moderation even when you exercise. I can't believe I'm telling you that when you're a nurse. But um, everybody in general is not doing nothing. They just want to make a video for the sake of making a video. I don't get it. I haven't made a video in over a week. I just haven't had time. I've been shooting the bow. Um, I've been out walking. It's just like YouTube's not really not that much of a priority. It's more of a priority, priority um, learning how to use this bow and getting it, uh, getting it down pat. And that's what I've been doing. And uh, there's a lot going on when you use a bow and getting my muscles used to pulling it back. My aim's pretty good. Um, I'm good for 20 yards. Anything beyond that, I'm not. So I need a lot more practice if I'm going to do that. But, um, you know, whatever you choose to use. You have to understand where are the animals sleeping, where are they hiding out, um, all this stuff. And you're not going to know that by sitting at home behind your desk. And I don't know, if you want to be a popular YouTuber, go sit behind a desk and regurgitate the news. That's the only thing I can say. But uh, maybe I'll get some video of me out doing some antler hunting. Um, 
and you can see that and see where I look but try some new things get out of your safe zone get out and get some what do you call it vitamin D from the Sun anyhow I'm still getting used to the bow I love it I try to get out every day it's super quiet I do need a lot more practice and I'll catch you guys on the next one